Welcome back, everyone. Opening statements began this morning in the trial of former U.S. House Majority Leader Tom DeLay. DeLay is accused of helping to illegally finance Texas legislative races back in 2002. Our Katina McHenry has been in the courtroom and now brings us the latest update live. Katina. Chris, good afternoon. We have just recessed for lunch till 1.30. That's when Craig McDonald will get back on the stand. He is a political science professor. Now, earlier this morning, opening arguments began with the prosecution telling the jury that DeLay's political action committee back in 2002 received contributions illegally. She says that money went to candidates, which is a violation of the state's election code and was illegal. Now, DeLay's attorney, Dick DeGarren, says that DeLay didn't do anything wrong. In fact, he says he called it swap money. He says $190,000, which is the amount of money that a delay is accused of sending to candidates, is not an unprecedented amount. He says that it happens frequently, and as we he, we caught him on his way out of the courtroom this afternoon, he believes that his opening arguments were great, and uh, he thinks things are going well so far. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know if we ought to give a run-in comment on what's going on. Glad to be in trial. How do you think opening statements went? Well, um, mine was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It was I'm brilliant. <laughs> so everyone is at lunch right now. The trial will resume at 1.30 this afternoon. That's when Craig McDonough, who is a political science professor, will take the stand. Four more witnesses are expected to be called this afternoon. For now, we're live at the Travis County Justice Complex, Katina McHenry, KXAN, Austin News.